Welcome to the empire of Sean Corey Carter, better known as Jay-Z, a name that echoes far beyond the realms of hip-hop into the stratosphere of global business moguls. From street-savvy rapper to one of the most influential entrepreneurs in the world, Jay-Z's journey is a testament to the power of resilience, innovation, and unparalleled business acumen. Born on December 4, 1969, in Brooklyn, New York, Jay-Z's rise from the challenging streets of the Marcy Projects to the glossy corridors of billion-dollar businesses is nothing short of spectacular. His career kicked off in the late 1980s and gained substantial momentum in 1996 with the release of his debut album, Reasonable Doubt. This album was just the beginning of what would become a legendary path in music, marked by a series of successful albums, each reinforcing his genius in weaving intricate narratives with compelling beats. But Jay-Z's influence extends well beyond his music. He is a pioneer who has reshaped the music industry's landscape, venturing into clothing lines, sports management, and digital streaming services, continually pushing the boundaries of what artists can achieve in the business sphere. As of the latest estimates by Forbes, Jay-Z's net worth has soared over $1 billion, making him one of the first in the industry to achieve billionaire status, a milestone that underscores not just personal success, but also a shift in how musicians and cultural figures influence global business. Jay-Z's journey into the annals of music royalty began in the rugged Marcy houses of Brooklyn, New York. Born Sean Corey Carter, he was raised in a challenging environment where violence and poverty were daily realities. Yet it was these very streets of Brooklyn that shaped his lyrical style, a raw, authentic narrative filled with the grit of his experiences. In the late 1980s, Jay-Z began freestyling, developing a reputation in the burgeoning New York hip-hop scene. His early recordings included collaborations with other artists, but it wasn't until he founded Rockefeller Records in 1995 with Damon Dash and Kareem Biggs Burke that he began to solidify his path to stardom. This entrepreneurial move was born out of necessity. Unable to secure a record deal that met their expectations, the trio created their own platform to release Jay-Z's music. 1996 marked a pivotal year for Jay-Z, with the release of his debut studio album, Reasonable Doubt. Although it reached only number 23 on the Billboard 200, it was critically acclaimed, establishing Jay-Z as a formidable talent in the industry. The album fused mafioso rap narratives with a smooth, jazzy beat selection, and featured collaborations with notable artists like The Notorious Big and Mary J. Blige. Songs like Can't Knock the Hustle and Dead Presidents 2 not only showcased his lyrical prowess, but also laid the groundwork for his philosophical musings on wealth, ambition, and survival. Reasonable Doubt has since been heralded as one of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time, setting the stage for a career that would redefine the scope of hip-hop success. Jay-Z's music career is studded with numerous milestones. But among them, The Blueprint and The Black Album stand out as monumental achievements that not only defined his artistic legacy, but also had a profound impact on the landscape of hip-hop and popular music. Released on September 11, 2001, The Blueprint is often celebrated for its production quality and its role in cementing Jay-Z's status in hip-hop royalty. This album featured soul-driven samples and contributions from producers Kanye West and Just Blaze who helped craft a sound that was both classic and refreshingly innovative. With tracks like Izzo, Hova, and Renegade featuring Eminem, The Blueprint was critically acclaimed and is considered one of his most influential albums, demonstrating his skill in blending deep lyrical content with compelling beats. Following the success of The Blueprint, Jay-Z continued to release hit albums. But it was The Black Album in 2003 that was initially intended to be his swan song. Announced as his final album before retiring from solo performances, The Black Album featured an all-star lineup of producers, including Rick Rubin, Timbaland, and Pharrell Williams, and was led by hits such as Dirt Off Your Shoulder and 99 Problems. The album offered a reflective look at his career and personal experiences, solidifying his legacy as a pivotal figure in music. Despite his retirement announcement in 2003, Jay-Z's hiatus from solo recording was short-lived. He returned to the music scene in 2006 with Kingdom Come, which received mixed reviews but confirmed his continued relevance and influence in the industry.
Over the years, Jay-Z has not only accumulated 24 Grammy Awards from 83 nominations, but also achieved significant commercial success with multiple albums reaching the top of the Billboard charts. This includes Magna Carta Holy Grail, Watch the Throne with Kanye West, and 444, each of which added layers to his evolving sound and business-centric lyrical themes. Jay-Z's entrepreneurial spirit stretches far beyond his musical achievements, reaching into various sectors of the business world and reflecting his profound understanding of brand building and investment. His ventures are diverse, ranging from clothing lines to sports management and even the alcohol industry, each marked by a keen insight into market trends and consumer preferences. One of his earliest and most successful business endeavors was the creation of the clothing line Rockaware in 1999. Capitalizing on his rising fame and the growing influence of urban fashion, Jay-Z co-founded Rockaware with Damon Dash. The brand quickly took off, becoming a staple in hip-hop fashion and eventually expanding to include a full range of lifestyle products. Although Jay-Z sold the rights to the brand in 2007 for $204 million, his involvement helped set a precedent for artists looking to leverage their influence in the fashion industry. In 2013, Jay-Z further expanded his business portfolio by launching Rock Nation Sports, a sports management division under his Rock Nation label. This venture underscored his ambition to impact areas beyond music and fashion, providing athlete management services that include contract negotiation, marketing, and public relations. Rock Nation Sports quickly signed major athletes such as Robinson Cano and Kevin Durant, proving Jay-Z's capability to transcend entertainment and assert influence in the competitive sports management field. Perhaps one of his most significant ventures in recent years is his investment in Tidal, a music streaming service he acquired in 2015. Tidal set itself apart by being owned by Artists for Artists, with Jay-Z emphasizing the service's commitment to giving musicians more control over their work and fair royalty payments. This move into streaming services reflects Jay-Z's foresight into the future of music consumption and his dedication to artist empowerment, an ethos that has been a consistent theme throughout his career. In addition to his multimedia and sports interests, Jay-Z has made substantial inroads into the luxury alcohol market. He acquired a stake in Armand de Brunac Champagne, known popularly as Ace of Spades, in 2006 and later bought the entire company in 2014. This high-end champagne has become a symbol of status and exclusivity in luxury markets. Similarly, his venture into the spirits industry with the launch of De Use Cognac in 2012, in partnership with Bacardi, underscores his knack for identifying and investing in premium brands that resonate well with luxury consumers. Jay-Z's influence extends well beyond the realms of music and business into significant efforts in philanthropy and social activism, particularly focusing on issues like criminal justice reform and educational support. His active engagement in these areas underscores his commitment to leveraging his success for broader social impact, advocating for change, and providing opportunities to those less fortunate. One of the key areas of Jay-Z's activism has been his outspoken support for criminal justice reform. His personal experiences and observations of the systemic inequalities within the criminal justice system have motivated him to become an advocate for change. He has used his platform to highlight cases and issues that exemplify these systemic problems. For example, he produced the Time the Khalif Browder Story documentary which exposed the injustices within the bail system and how it disproportionately affects people of color. Furthermore, he has been involved in efforts to reform the probation and parole systems, including backing litigation and legislative actions that aim to transform these systems fundamentally. Alongside his activism, Jay-Z's philanthropic efforts are perhaps most prominently seen through the work of the Sean Carter Foundation, which he co-founded with his mother, Gloria Carter. Established in 2003, the foundation's mission is to help individuals who have faced socioeconomic hardships to further their education at institutions of higher learning. The Sean Carter Foundation offers scholarships, college prep workshops, international exposure, professional development, and mentorship programs. Since its inception, the foundation has invested over $4 million in programs and scholarships that have directly supported students struggling with poverty, instability, and the residue of incarceration. Jay-Z's influence on contemporary culture extends far beyond his music, touching aspects of fashion, business, and even social issues thereby cementing his status as a multidimensional icon. 
As a trailblazer in the music industry, his style and lyrics have shaped the genre of hip-hop, influencing countless artists with his complex wordplay and thematic depth. Beyond music, Jay-Z has played a pivotal role in the evolution of hip-hop fashion. His early endorsement of brands and later, his own ventures like Rockaware have significantly influenced streetwear and luxury fashion, merging urban aesthetics with high fashion. Moreover, his strategic business moves, from his role in the streaming service title to his investments in sports and spirits, demonstrate his understanding of market trends and his ability to capitalize on them effectively. These ventures have not only expanded his wealth, but also provided a blueprint for how artists can leverage their influence beyond the music scene. Additionally, Jay-Z's relationship with Beyoncé has become a central narrative in popular culture, adding to his influence and reach. Together, they form one of the entertainment industry's most powerful and influential couples, often referred to as a power couple. Their partnership has not only dominated the music charts, but has also been a strategic alliance that has furthered their impact in music, business, philanthropy, and cultural advocacy, making them symbols of success and partnership in the modern age.